Welcome to another episode of Media Lies. Uh, yeah, some men. So uh, anyone who is a Democrat and is yeah who like uh, supports Joe Biden, yeah, you're gonna get offended by this. So you might want to leave. Your discretion is advised. Yep. Don't watch it if you're underage. So, uh, you might have noticed a certain app called Parler. So, I'm not talking about the French uh, phrase uh, Parler. I'm talking about Parler, the app. Uh, So what is Parler? So it is uh, a, a non-biased uh, app. It is like a free speech. Uh, so like a, they focus on free speech and uh, they focus on the protecting users' rights. Uh, they are not selling your information to other organizations or anything like that. So yeah, but uh, I tried using uh, it for like one day and uh, I didn't like it because uh, it was uh, it left out some of the things I uh, usually was used to seeing. Uh, so Parler, Parler, Parler is a good app. Uh, so, uh, many, uh, many accounts uh, who, like, have uh, had their stuff uh, deleted because uh, they spoke, they spoke the truth and, uh, the false, uh, you know, well, people, well, people that didn't like it, you know, you know, big, you know, Big tech didn't like it, and uh, so yeah, they are they are an independent uh, app uh, right now. So, what the problem is right now is uh, so some people, of course, uh, they said like you know, many many people went on a went on a. Parlor app said stuff about free speech and how we, we don't have free speech and uh, especially what happened uh, with uh, big tech deleting all of us. So they terminated like forever. So Facebook, Donald Trump, Donald Trump's Facebook account. Mark Zuckerberg is responsible for that. Twitter. Jack Dorsey is responsible for that. Instagram, I don't, yeah. Of course, Donald Mark Zuckerberg is also, in for, uh, yeah, responsible for that because uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he owns, uh, he technically owns Instagram and WhatsApp. So, uh, WhatsApp and in Instagram used to be independent until, yeah, they bought their shares and, uh, yeah, they, he owns it now, technically. And Mark Zuckerberg already had a problem with that uh, Apple this year, uh, a couple months ago, and yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that was that problem. So, however, because uh, what people posted on a uh, Parler app, uh, so Google, which is part of big tech, So they noted the uh, Parler ad from their uh, Google Play. They removed the Parler the app from the, the, the Google Play Store completely, like because they uh, said it were became, being too egregious, uh, having egregious content, uh, like and stuff that uh, because they are like like technically you know they're woke. If you don't know like what, what big tech is, uh, big tech is like tech 
tech giants like, like you know a lot of like com major companies like Facebook is part of it Twitter is part of it Google is part of it Amazon is part of it Netflix is part of it and uh, you will have to really look it up because there are a lot more companies that are part of big tech and they have gone many of them have gone woke so not only Google Play Play Store so uh, so the Apple company also uh, re threatened to remove uh, I think they may have uh, already uh, to leave remove the parlor the app from uh, the iTunes uh, store you know the app their app store So it's not gonna show up on iTunes either. So you have to literally download it off through your like a uh, phone, like a uh, yeah. However, many people have uh, went on to like complain the. Uh, That uh, Parlor is an innocent app, and you know that people use, and it's not like a Buck Sexton. He said Parlor is no right-wing app. It just protects the freedom of speech. It's viewpoint neutral. That's what our digital overlords are so worried about: free expression. Democrats can't allow a piece of a piece of place to share ideas without their thumb on the scale. Worth asking why. Todd Spangler, ahead of his possible ban by Apple, Parler is currently the number one trending app in the App Store news category. Pat Rain Rainier, whether the App Store can carry par Parler seems to me, me a much more serious question than whether tw Twitter should suspend accounts. Of course, uh, Pat Rainier, Rainier is uh, talking about like, uh, you know, Twitter like uh, terminating uh, accounts and uh, also deleting accounts forever. Or they'll restore accounts, uh, but uh, previous some previous posts won't show up. So Ted Cruz already question U.S. Uh, Congress uh, send you know Senator uh, Ted Cruz uh, nice guy he questioned uh, he questioned this to uh, Jack Dorsey Jack Dorsey could not give up a straight up answer he was so stupid enough to not give a straight up answer. And we already know, like, uh, you know, big tech is using, you know, Google, uh, Facebook, and Twitter are using fact checkers uh, and uh, test platforms. So Josh Hawley, also a U.S. Senate, like a Congress member, he also questioned this to Mark Zuckerberg. Of course, Zuckerberg could not give up a straight up answer. So that was a pretty, uh, yeah, stupid of him. So the problem with uh, like free speech right now is like uh, we can't have free speech if uh, you know if the you know there's these apps that like allows free speech. They don't sell your information. They let you do what you want to you know, like speak freely about you know things, do marketing and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yet. Uh, 
these if these apps are not available on the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store because Apple and uh, Google part of big tech yeah they are not in favor of it they think oh yeah they don't like uh, Because if uh, like st bad things are happening on uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, you know, so uh, you should uh, temporarily stay off uh, Facebook, Twitter, and then Instagram, WhatsApp, any other apps for now. For now, we need to, yeah, we need to teach uh, you know, big tech a, a lesson. Because if they can't let us like uh, you know, you know, talk about like uh, stuff, uh, you know. Have a free speech on uh, Of course freedom of speech is a right it is not something we are going to be like a Block off from uh, doing so if they're not going to let us use the parlor app or if they're not going to let, let us like create and use an app that like a maybe like you know on an alternative for YouTube on an alternative for Facebook an alternative for Twitter Twitter an alternative for Instagram an alternative for like snapchat yeah any other apps that like are not like owned by big tech if they ain't gonna let us do that we will not stay silent go straight social media you know make a post about it we will not stand down boycott like you know big tech apps right now I know it's going to be hard but I'm going to I'm going to boy, boycott Facebook and Twitter and Instagram if you want your rights your right to speak freely about whatever you want to speak freely about without your account getting uh, monetized or deleted or like termina terminated so should you let's do this people